Hi friends and welcome back to my channel. Well, I knew I wanted to do some like year-end favorites and I thought I would start out with one of my favorite things in skincare, moisturizer. I know, we're jumping right in. But first, if you're new to my channel, hello, my name is Jennifer. I am into all things hair care, skincare, and makeup. So if that sounds like something you are into, do me a favor and hit that subscribe button because I got a whole messy channel for you to enjoy. All right, friends, let's do this. All right, we know I love my skincare. I especially love my moisturizer. I especially love my retinols. I especially love my beauty oils. I love it all. I mean, I'm sorry. It's like Sophie's Choice. I'm not going to pick my favorite. Today, we'll say moisturizer is my favorite though. And I've got a whole bucket of it. So let's get at it a bucket full of moisturizer. What is wrong with me? All right, let's do this and we'll start with the easy stuff, my body skin. I'm not huge into body lotions, at least I never used to be. I kind of enjoyed like the luxuriousness of it, but lately, probably within the past two years, I noticed especially in the winter, my skin gets dry and itchy and a little bit, well, ashy for a white girl. It gets dull and dusty looking. And for me, these have been my saviors. The first one I found from Necessaire, I love so much for just giving me my glow up. It literally just gently removes all of that dusty, dry, kind of ashy looking skin. And it just, it brings my skin back to life. It's not sticky, it's not tacky, it dries down really nice, but best of all, it's super good for my skin. This is my third one and it's almost time for another. And from Paula's Choice, this is the Skin Revealing Body Lotion 10% AHA. Now we all know that AHAs are great for clearing away that outermost dead, dry looking skin and revealing that fresh, younger, glowy looking skin. But also AHAs are hydrators. So they're gonna hydrate the skin. So it's twofold. And for me, this has been one of my favorite things, especially for my legs. My legs get so itchy, it's so gross. But in the winter time, I just, I'm like scratching, especially the backs of my legs. And this here has been a dream come true for me. Do I wanna be like glowy and moisturized and all that? Yes, I do. But mostly, I just wanna stop itching. And luckily this does that. Moving on. I'm gonna get this one out of the way because it's a plum beauty oil from La Prunier. I know it's a beauty oil, it's not a moisturizer, but it is a moisturizer for me because I use this mainly on the nights when I do my AHA instead of the nights I do retinols and I use it in place of my moisturizer because we just talked about AHAs. This is like another layer of moisturizing and it is, I love this so much. This one is my third and in here we have the fourth. Yeah, I don't go without this any longer. It's we just, we just belong together forever and ever. Amen. And at $72, she's hella pricey and it makes me crazy. But I was able to get this one on QVC for a little less, I don't know, 65-ish, I can't remember. But I love you so much, so you're worth it. All right, that's my only oil. The rest of them are gonna be all creams. Let's look at them. So from iUnique, I have their Beta Glucan Daily Moisture Cream. I just finished this one. I had a backup. This is my third. This was a savior for me. I will link down below. I had done a short when in the springtime I had gone for a facial and she literally rubbed the skin off my face. And so I had a lot of repair to do. And luckily, shortly before I had had that facial, I had placed an order on YesStyle for a bunch of skincare. I was looking for all sorts of things that were perfect for sensitive skin. Now I normally don't have sensitive skin, but because we were kind of change of seasons from like winter to spring, my skin always freaks out. So I wanted some like sensitive skin loving ingredients and I had this as one of them. Oh my God, saved the day. Maybe I should actually take the little tab off first. Mm. And now I will show you. This is just a nice, lovely, light cream. And actually, that's all I need for my face and neck. This spreads out so nicely. And it has a rich feeling to it. It doesn't feel light, but it also doesn't feel heavy. It's just in between. So it's perfect for, you know, the Goldilocks in all of us that sometime we're like, mm, I don't want it super heavy. Mm, if it's too light, I don't think it's doing anything. This is right in between. And if you have sensitive skin, this contains mushroom, there's centella asiatica and beta glucan, all which are so gentle yet moisturizing, nourishing, and they really calm and take care of your skin. I highly recommend having this. I wanna say this was around $16. It's worth keeping in your cabinet at all times because you never know when you're gonna fuck up your skin. 
Or should I say, I never know when I'm gonna fuck up my skin. It happens more often than you'd think. You had to be figuring something would be coming up from Naturium, and of course I have the Plant Ceramide Rich Moisture Cream. This makes my skin so happy. You know I love my ceramides, my peptides. I want them all over my face, my neck, and my decollete all year round. For me, this is not right for the summer, but it's great for spring, fall, and winter. Here we are in winter, and of course I have one. If you haven't seen it by now, it is just a lovely, thick cream. I like to use it, well, probably that much I will use in the evenings, all over my face, and then I go in again, back on my neck and decollete. It is just, it's smooth, it's hydrating, it's moisturizing. It helps keep all my other products underneath. I can go on and on about it, you all know. I love this. It's just, mm, of course it had to be in here. Of course it had to be. And from pharmacy, of course I have two. This is the Honey Drop, which I used all spring and summer. And it makes me crazy how much these cost. I wanna say they're around $45. I still have a little bit left in here. I just love this packaging. Like this whole little honeycomb design, this little magnetic scooper that I just love. This whole thing, it's, it's annoying to me, the price. Like I said, around $45, but it works so great. Now, because we're in winter, this is not my go-to. I will use this sometimes in the mornings if I've gone in with a ton of other like moisturizing, hydrating toners, essences, that whole thing. If I have so much on that I really don't need a heavy moisturizer, then I will use this. But you know, for me, my favorite from pharmacy is the Honey Halo. As a matter of fact, I love this so much that I had to run out and get this today. I knew I was doing this video and I realized I was out of my Honey Halo. And luckily right now, Sephora is having their 20% off everything for everyone. So it doesn't matter what level you are, if you're a rouge, if you're an insider, whatever you are, you get 20% off one purchase. And you know, I made good use of that. So here I have a brand new halo and oh, that rich, thick, oh God, I can't wait to use it. Now, like I said, $45, I did save 20% off, so that is $9, so it was $36 for me. If you've been wanting to try this, this is the perfect time right now because you can save the 20% off. As a matter of fact, it goes until December 12th. Now, today is the 7th, so when you see this, tomorrow will be the 8th, so you will still have four days. If I were you, I would either go online to Sephora or I would go in store and pick up this Honey Halo because if you get dry skin at all in the winter, this is... This is the one. I love her. I just, mm. not only is it rich, thick, hydrating, moisturizing, soothing, it does everything I want, but this jar will last me until spring because you need a very little bit. Yeah, I use this morning and night. And because you need a little bit, the $36 or $45 isn't that awful. And actually, the condition that this is going to help keep your skin in, it's totally worth it. Now, if you do miss the Sephora 20% off, I do have a code down below that if you sign up at pharmacy, you will save 15% off. So there's a little savings there. But don't feel like you have to. Get your ass to Sephora. And my last facial moisturizer is from Fenty Skin. This is the Hydrovisor. And I like this because I'm very often a lazy girl. This is a moisturizer with sunscreen in it. You know how I feel about sunscreen. Sometimes it can be a giant pain in the ass. And this one here is nice and light. I actually use three pumps for my face and then I go back in again for my neck. It is so light, so creamy. It feels just like a moisturizer. It does not feel anything like a sunscreen because I can't stand a goopy, sticky sunscreen. And this actually leaves a really pretty glow behind. It doesn't dry down matte like some sunscreens do, but it also doesn't stay like greasy. It just leaves this lovely glow. Now, yeah, it does have a little bit of a scent. I don't notice the scent after I've had it on for a couple minutes, it just dissipates. I love this. So if you are a lazy person like I am and you wanna skip a step sometimes, but you wanna be moisturized and protected from the sun, try the Fenty Hydrovisor. Totally love this. And rounding out my moisturizers, I have eye creams for you. Now, you know I say it all the time. If you listen to anyone online, you don't need an eye cream. But I'm a little bit extra, so I got some. Listen, I'm getting older. I'm starting to get some crepiness under the eyes. I like to keep my under eye area hydrated, especially because I'm using concealer and I don't want it to be like cakey or dried out looking. What do we got right now? Right now, it's okay. Thank God. And the reason for it today is I went in under my eye makeup. Now I had actually done my skincare earlier today 
I started filming this, I don't know, like around 4.30 today. And so I needed to go with some more moisturizer under my eye because I didn't want that dry cakey concealer look. So I used from Sweet Chef, this is their Turmeric Vitamin C Booster Eye Cream. I've talked about this several times. I got it at Target. I need like a very little bit of it when I use it. Like literally that dot does under both eyes when I'm going in for the second time. I just rub my fingers together and I tap it in and boom, I'm done. It's a nice lightweight gel texture. I love the way it feels. The vitamin C obviously has those antioxidant ingredients that I love, but my skin doesn't normally like vitamin C. So I don't use this every day because I don't want it to get, sometimes I can get like a little breakout, like right between my cheek and my under eye. And that's usually from a vitamin C moisturizer. So I, this isn't my everyday, but I do like to use it, especially under makeup. And a great find this year from e.l.f. was their Holy Hydration Eye Cream. I was super blown away by this. I wasn't expecting much from the e.l.f. skincare line. This one here you can see I have been through pretty well. Again, I like to use this one when I get out of the shower in the morning. It is really nice and lightweight, but it's very creamy. And it just has a, like a nice, rich feeling under my eyes. And I really feel like it's keeping any moisture in there. And it really seems to help keep that crepiness from happening during the day. So if you're looking for a very affordable, I totally would recommend you getting the e.l.f. Holy Hydration Eye Cream. And last but not least, from Naturium, their Multi-Peptide Eye Cream. This is my everyday, every night go-to. I've been using this for, mm, I don't know, maybe two months now, and I love how very little I need to use. Can you see that? That's the amount that I need for one eye. So every morning, I just use double that amount and tap under both eyes, and voila, I'm ready to go for the rest of the day. Woo! I just ripped through that. I'm pretty proud of myself. Now, the other day, if you'd seen my video on some new skincare I was using, you saw that I had introduced the Hand Chemistry Pro Repair Skincare for Hands. I haven't used this long enough to decide if it's like one of my favorites of 2021, so I'm gonna hold off. We'll see how I feel about it. So far, I'm liking it a lot. I don't know where she's gonna land though, so we will see if she makes the cut for next year's Best of 2022. But right now, I think I have a pretty complete list of my list of 2021 favorite moisturizers that I've been using. Now listen, they haven't all been released in 2021, but I started using all of them in 2021. So that's how I decided on what was making the cut for me. But also the fact that I'm continuing to use these and that I repurchase them, that really tells me that these are best of products for me. Woo, I think I did pretty good. All right, let me know your thoughts. Do you agree with my best ofs? Are there any of these that you're using? Or are there any that you're now thinking that you're gonna purchase because I've had such a great experience with them? I will, of course, have links for all of these in the description box below if you're interested in any of them. The only ones that I have affiliate codes for are Pharmacy and Naturium. So if you do make purchases through those links, I will receive a small commission, which does go to support my channel. And if you do so, I am so grateful, but don't feel like you have to. All right, friends, new and old, I want to thank you so much for being with me, and I'll see you real soon. Mwah.